Hello, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh, with me, Nidhi. Now, last time we saved um, the Bow Wow, Bow Wow talk, and it helped us get in here into the second dungeon, the Bottle Grotto. So, we have already a chest here that we couldn't get with, um, well, vases and and pottery in front of it. So, I'm guessing we get finally something to lift heavy things. But yeah, uh, first here we do have a way to make light. Oh, yellow. Is that one that throws bones or just jumps on top of you? There's a key. Good. Good. Uh, let's go down. Oh, those guys. The, the shy guys. <laughs> it's, it's an actual shy guy. They will uh, always move in the opposite direction from you. So, um... How do we do that? I mean, if we do that, then we can... Hmm... Like that? There we go. Just do a spin attack and problems are solved. The compass, nice! And we see it's already getting bigger than the last dungeon that we were in. Now then, here we can go to the right, at least for now. Yep, there's the switch. So we can switch stuff on and off. We don't have a beak. Can... Can we do? Nope. Yep, we do have to disable that. I mean, we would have to... We would have to have bombs to activate that, right? Oh, no, we don't. I see. It's a key! Nice. So let's see what else we have. Mm-hmm. Some magic powder, that's always good. That opens the chest and we can actually switch the floor. Pegs. Another key, nice. No, ah. Slippery floor. <laughs> oh, those guys. At least we got one. Oh, can we get there from here? No, we have to go around. Okay. Okay, then. I hope it's still there once we get all the way back up. What you also can do is stand on top of them. That's cool. Okay, nice. Three keys. Actually, we can go... <laughs> I was expecting to start at the start of the room. Okay, yeah, we can actually just go over there like that. Okay. I have uh, problems pressing the right buttons right now. There we go. And a piece of power as well. Not sure why I would need that, but anyways. Okay, 
There we go, Stera. No chest, but... I mean, kind of makes sense that those blocks are arranged in a way that... It looks like there could be a chest. Like this. Oh! Okay. It's actually a underground passage. Alright. Yeah, but I have to admit, it, it really looks... Kind of looks cute and good. The whole remake. I mean, did they remade the game once for Game Boy Color. And they put in some, well, Game Boy Color features. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. They actually did a colorized dungeon. Uh, for the game. Hello. Okay, that's probably not healthy. No. Um, how do we do that? Do I have to jump in the right... Ah, come on, I pressed the button. <laughs> I did jump. That doesn't work. What else? Do well, I can just eat him. Kind of. Nah, that's not, not working. Beating him isn't working. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, let's retry. So we can at least take another path first. <laughs> so, to the left. Yeah, I'm kind of... Voila. Kind of... Buttons. It's, it's not that many buttons, but it's surprising how often you can press the wrong buttons. Uh, will that do anything? There we go, wrong button, again. Okay, there we go, that one is down. And the beak, nice. Okay, there's nothing left to, to explore. Okay, jumping into the door doesn't work. Uh, can I heal up somewhere, please? Oh, not if I press the wrong buttons. Oh, thank you. Now there's a beaked owl. Part of the floor is raised, trapped the... Uh, yeah. Tap the shining crystal. <laughs> Pressing the wrong buttons is kind of the theme right now. Uh, there's just magic powder, which isn't bad per se, but it's not what I wanted. Oh, you guys, come on, you have some parts for me. Ah, just money. You have some hearts, come on. Yes, thank you. And you too. Nope. Oh, that... Kind of looks suspicious, but I guess it's... Everywhere they have... Um... Okay, what do you say? Uh, make every block design the same. Yeah, we we know. So perhaps I just have to beat the the boss. Just beat him. Not sure if I can actually shield against the attack that he's doing. I don't think so. Uh, 
Alright. There's some hearts. As we have seen, you can't... Alright, let's try shielding once. Shield. Shield doesn't do anything. Okay, that works. We just have to run circles. But he grabs you anyway, so that's... Ah! That's not working. It really doesn't work quite as well as I thought it would. Ah! I jumped! Ah. Okay, I, I, I hate that guy. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I guess if you are far away enough, it might work. Okay, got him. Yeah, I'm guessing just being far away helps, but other than that, it's there's really not a big margin of error. Um, ah, lift. No, I don't want to lift. What do you have to say? First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice. Paul's voice. Last, the skeletal Stalfos. Okay. Ah, come on. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Is that a black hole? I see. The map. Nice. Press minus to look at it. And we did discover quite a bit. It also has a, the form of a pot. So that's fitting. Also, we do get something that hopefully helps against pots. And hopefully soon. Oh, come on. That. Come on. There we go. We still have a key. And 20 rupees. Nice. And let's see what we have over here. <laughs> Boohoos. <laughs> Boos. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, they don't like fire. Or light. There we go! The power bracelet. At last you can pick up pots and stones. And nothing else is here. So we can go back. I guess. We can also go forward. We still need the big key. But there's... I think we go back so we can get the chest at the start real quick. Now also it should be way easier to heal up because these pots usually have hearts and stuff in them. There we go. Good, good. Now here we don't want to go up yet. But I do have to check um, the, the order that he said again. Purple rupee. Nice. Just destroy stuff. So any hidden rooms? That one might be hidden. Other than that, it doesn't look like it. Alright, what do you say? First the pulse voice and last the skeletal Stalfos. 
Let's see what we find here. Yeah, that's just Goomba. Oh. It's, it's even more Mario style. Alright, so far so good. Last Stalfos. So I'm guessing that guy last. First, that bunny thing. How do I defeat? Ah, throw stuff at it. No. Come on, don't throw stuff at me. I do have to let it out somehow. Nope, that doesn't work. I uh, guess I need bombs for that. But it has a key. Well, let's see how we can defeat that thing. Can we powder it? No. Can't. Oh, we can push those. Okay, okay. Yep, that's how we defeat them. Okay, that was wrong, but... Okay, we can stun it and then throw stuff at it. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, let's try that again. Yeah, now we have to do that. That. Throw powder at it. Lift it. Throw it. Ah, no, we probably have to still throw a pot at it. There we go. Now we should kill the bat. And last the Stalfos. There we go. Oh, we had to do that. It's a nightmare key. Yeah, it was a key. What other key should it be? No hearts. And there's still a chest over there that we probably want to get. Doesn't work like that. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of all the bats first. We do need it because it's a key. And we do need the key. Piece of power. Okay. So we need to lower the blue ones. And best not fall down holes. Okay. There we go. And now we can throw that over there and jump over here and get the chest. Okay, small key. Now just some health would be nice. I guess we don't get it. Well, perhaps just before the boss. Um, can we also defeat them without stunning them first? Ah! There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, underground passage. 
the boss or the, the room before the boss. Yeah, I really like it better in Zelda games if when you can destroy the pots with the oh destroy the pots with the sword. That's that makes a lot easier. But yeah, let's see where that goes. I'm guessing that goes down slowly. I have to say, the remixed music is kind of good. Um, what does that thing do? Nothing with powder. Oh. Oh, I do have to put pots on it, I'm guessing. Or go on it with a pot. So we have more weight behind us. I see. Yep, there we go. Now then, there's the boss room and the instrument room. Nothing more. Let's see what kind of boss we have to fight. Genie! Ho oh, ho oh, ho, I'm your bad guy this time. Ho oh, ho ho! Genie! with fireball juggling. Let me just walk around. Ah, oh, I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. So throw it at the wall. <laughs> Nya nya nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Well then, let's change that. Okay. Okay, one more time, I guess. Um, come on, throw. Three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. And defeat him. Throw him. Ah! You broke my bottle. Why you? You make me hopping mad. Ah, now he's hopping around. Okay. No idea if I just found a way to cheese it, but... Okay, huge ball. That's that. Alright. That one was easy. So far I think the, the mid-bosses are actually the actual hard part. The bosses are just meh. <laughs> and the hard container... And the conch horn. Nice prairie, prairie. Go to the prairie. It's waiting. Okay, okay. Whoever is telling me this. And the owl probably also... Oh, nice. 
nice multi-kill. Now we can lift up those rocks, so that opens a lot of stuff. That really opens a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, the prairie, but I think that will have to wait. So if you enjoy this, uh, consider subscribing and liking. Putting in a comment with stuff you liked or didn't like. Uh, things I can do better. And other than that, thanks a lot for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day and bye.